actually we have learned all of these sorting algorithms an interesting question especially uh, for a good engineer is which sorting algorithm to use where right and how to learn new sorting algorithms so insertion sort is preferable if you have an almost sorted array if you have an almost sorted array which means it's mostly sorted but there are some elements which are not sorted for example imagine if i have an array like this 1 2 3 5 4 uh, 6 8 and let's say 5 this is almost sorted except for this element and this element everything else is in its origin is it is in its right place right if you look at this if you look at this array this is almost sorted except for this element and this element everything else is in its place right so if you have an almost sorted array then insertion sort is very good because the best case because what happens what is the best case for insertion sort if the array is already sorted right in such a case you would get an order of n time complexity and of course the space complexity is order of one and insertion sort works if your array is almost sorted merge sort is a very interesting algorithm it has order of n log n it has order of n log n time complexity and order of n space complexity there are some research papers which have extended merge sort to not have this additional space but they're fairly complex they're not straightforward and trivial right number one number two is the most important application of merge sort is if your data does not fit if your data or if your array if your data or array does not fit in ram does not fit in your memory we discussed about external sorting right we discussed a lot about external sorting right on how if your data doesn't fit into the ram how merge sort can be used so merge sort is extremely powerful if you want to sort large arrays right large amounts of data if you want to sort and this happens a lot trust me imagine if i have the data of 100 million products on amazon right if i have the price of the 100 million products and if i want to sort all of them by the by the price how do i do it i do it using merge sort right so quick sort is a very good general purpose it is a good general purpose sorting algorithm especially the randomized variant if you use the randomized variant because then you can avoid the worst case of order of n square right so quick sort is a very nice general purpose so if you don't have any other constraints you should preferably use quick sort right because people have used it in c in unix and in the earlier versions of java right this was one of the most popular algorithms now quicksort has been replaced in some of these implementations with others right if the range of numbers so of course counting sort works if all of your numbers lie between 0 to k right counting sort is good radix sort if you have multiple digits right if these conditions are met then counting and radix sort are certainly useful because they are linear time algorithms there are linear time they are linear time algorithms very very interesting you should avoid bubble sort right because a bunch of research both experimental and theoretical has shown that bubble sort except for a fancy name actually doesn't work very well in the real world okay there are other sorting algorithms that we we'll learn later we we'll learn something called as a heap sort later okay which has very nice applications okay we we'll learn that little later after we learn what a heap is what a binary tree is and all of that we'll come to that okay this is something that we we'll learn little later in this course but there are other sorting algorithms that we may not cover in this course for example there is a sorting algorithm called tim sort actually many people don't know about tim sort right so i let me take you to the wikipedia page because i want your learning to happen even after this videos right so if you want to continue learning so you can just just go to wikipedia's page for tim sort right it's a very interesting sorting algorithm it is called a hybrid sorting algorithm because it uses multiple algorithms within itself okay what are hybrid algorithms hybrid algorithms use two or more algorithms so tim sort uses merge sort and insertion sort internally it's a stable sorting algorithm and it's actually very popular it's actually built by tim peters and it was popularized because in the python programming language in 2002 it was first implemented as the default sorting algorithm remember in the early versions of c unix and java right in the early versions of unix c and java people actually used quick sort right right but slowly what happened was tim sort from 2002 started becoming very popular 
because Python programming language implemented and it has a lot of experimental research. Of course, it has some time complexity, uh, uh, all of this. I'm not going to go into how TeamSort works because it's slightly involved, but you can learn all of that from Wikipedia, right? There is ton of very, very good papers and uh, very, very good blogs and Wikipedia itself where you can learn it from, right? So TeamSort, it, this is the detailed explanation of TeamSort on how it works and things like that, right? So very interestingly, let me show you something. Today, TeamSort has become so popular that Java, the version 7, the Android platform, so Java that is there on Android platform, GNU Octave and Google Chrome, right? All of them use some form or some variant of TeamSort. Of course, Python programming language anyway uses TeamSort. So TeamSort is becoming popular that Tim Peters has uh, introduced in 2002 into this, uh, into Python programming language. It's becoming more and more popular because more modern implementations like Chrome, GNU Octave, the Java, uh, the Java version seven on Android platform, all of them have now slowly moved to the, uh, have moved to uh, your TeamSort instead of QuickSort, right? Earlier QuickSort was the popular one. Slowly TeamSort is becoming more and more popular. And every day there are new hybrid algorithms that are created. Right? Sorting, see, why, why did we start with sorting? Sorting is certainly an important problem in the real world. But we learned so many techniques because of sorting, right? We learned to divide and conquer in merge sort and quick sort. Very popular algorithms, right? So very popular concept. So divide and conquer and recursion. Recursion and divide and conquer are some of the most important ideas in whole of algorithms. We also learned about recurrence relations, right? We also learned about recurrence relations. We also learned how to sort data if it doesn't fit into RAM. Okay, we, we learned all of these concepts and sorting gave us a good framework to learn more advanced algorithms and more advanced data structures that we'll do in the later parts of this course.